YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Taylor Talks Tales. Today I have a book review for you guys, and I'm very excited because I received an advanced reader copy from the author herself, and this is actually the first ARC that I had received before, so I was very excited about it. Um, and when the author had reached out to me, I definitely wanted to read it because the premise sounded super intriguing, and I just was like, yes, I definitely want to read it. And so she sent it to me in the mail and I received it a couple days ago and got around to reading it last night and I just blew through this book because it was just super fast paced and I really enjoyed it. Um, so I wanted to get the review out there before the release date. Um, it is coming out on January 15th so day after tomorrow you'll be able to pick up your own copy if you find that you're intrigued by this book at the end of the review. So. I'm going to be reviewing True Crime by Samantha Kolesnik, and I enjoy the cover of this book actually, because um, it has like Grindhouse Press, which is the um, publishing company, as the release date, as the you know date on this newspaper, um, and on the back it says Ketchum Plumbing, which I believe is an homage to Jack Ketchum, who is a very um, well-known and well-regarded author in the horror community. So I thought that was very fun. Um, I'm going to read the back to you, and then we'll get into the review. Susie and her brother Lim live with their abusive mother in a town where the stars don't shine at night. Once the abuse becomes too much to handle, the two siblings embark on a sordid, cross-country murder spree, beginning with their mom. As the murder tally rises, Susie's mental state spirals into irredeemable madness. Alright, so, this book I really enjoyed. It is very fast-paced. I read this in maybe an hour and a half, um... Partly because it is only 140 something pages, and the I would say the font is uh, pretty big too, so it's you know a short little novella. Um, but it also the plot just sucks you right in. It starts you know right away, and it's just very easy to get into. So um, it's it's good if you're looking for something short and fast paced. This is definitely good for that. Um, and I really enjoyed the characters. Um, at the heart of it is Susie. She's a teenager. She has been through just a lot of abuse and a lot of violence and it really shapes who she is um, and why she does what she does um, because there definitely is a lot of abuse and violence in this book so I definitely want to say trigger warnings for basically any kind of sexual assault, um, physical, mental, emotional abuse, psychological abuse, and of course violence, violence against women, murders, all that good stuff, gore, you, know, you name it. Um, although I wouldn't say this is like a super gory book or anything like that, it's just there's a lot of like dark subject matter going on. Um, but it plays a role in the story because without this stuff that had happened to Susie and her brother Lim, then it might not have shaped who they were as teenagers and early adulthood. So. Um, definitely it brings up the concept of nature versus nurture I think with um, psychology so I feel like this would be a good book to discuss that um, I think this would actually be a very good book to have in a book club or if you're doing a buddy read to talk about some of the themes in this because it, even though it's a very short little book it does bring up a lot of um, themes like good versus evil um, are we destined to be violent if we've experienced violence um, are we you know always going to be monsters um, what makes a monster all all that um, and especially with Susie I felt like she was a very compelling character um, you read it from her perspective because it's told via first-person point of view and you get into her her thoughts and how she looks at the world and you can tell that she's not quite right in the head um, which I thought was really neat, but at the same time, like, some parts where you're like, oh yeah, you know, I, I sympathize with you on that, I can see how you would, you know, feel this way, and I have some empathy for you, but then there would be times where she would commit an act of violence, or just want to, um, do something, and you'd be like, whoa, what's going on? Um, and you can see sort of the roots of why she and her brother the way they are because their mother was awful oh my gosh she just sounds like the world's worst mother ever um just super abusive sexually abusing her um and in even worse things like i felt really bad for for susie having to go through that um even if she commits some other stuff 
in the book you still really are like oh my gosh um and her mother too was not just abusing her children and just being terrible but she also had actually abducted a woman named Alice and was keeping her in her basement so obviously there's some um violence and maybe psychopathy or sociopath like tendencies in the family. Um, the father's not really in the picture, but he sounded like an incredibly violent, awful man. Um, so that also brings in, again, nature versus nurture, and um, are we destined to, you know, be like our parents? Are we destined to be monstrous if we were born in a monstrous environment? So I thought that was, you know, very, very intriguing. Um, in fact, I would say I really enjoyed this book a lot. Um, I would say the reason why I'm not going to give this a five star, I'd probably give it about a four and a half, um, which is very good. I really enjoyed it. I do think this probably would have been best as a full-fledged novel. And I actually do mean this as a compliment because it means that I really enjoyed the story a lot and I enjoyed the writing and I enjoyed the characters enough to think that they should have had a full-fledged book because I feel like there were a couple plot points and a few um, characters that I would have wanted to see things progress a little bit more and I wanted to see what happened with Susie and there was just some unexplored potential I think um but it's I mean it still has an ending so it's not like it's just open-ended or anything like that I definitely would consider you know if there's a second book like if this ended up being a series of novellas I would definitely pick it up I would want to see what Susie goes on to do next um because I was just very fascinated by the whole by the whole thing um so overall, four and a half out of five star. I recommend it for horror fans. Um, if you haven't really read horror um, or really violent books, I would say just go into it kind of knowing what to expect. It's pretty dark. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's like super, super graphic per se. It's not the goriest book I've ever read, um, but just know there's some tough subject matters and, you know, it's not going to be a warm fluffy book or anything like that but horror fans in particular even thriller fans um you know i think you'll enjoy it um also people who are into true crime um just like because susie the main character is obsessed with true crime um she's obsessed with the magazine and and all of that so i think that you guys would probably find this pretty interesting as well um so overall go check it out i am definitely going to be um looking into Samantha Klesnik more. I think that this is a very solid debut novella and I can't wait to see what else she'll come up with. So um, definitely check it out. It'll be out um, day after tomorrow and I highly recommend it. So thank you so much for watching my review. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.